Hello, my name is Kalomb Gove. I am an naturopath and a certified live blood cell analyst. I am not an employee of BioPro Technology. I have conducted these tests and created this DVD on my own initiative without any direction or involvement of BioPro Technology. The results I report herein are based on my own professional findings. Live blood analysis is performed by taking a prick from the tip of the finger and looking at a drop of blood under a dark field microscope. Please note that this DVD should not be interpreted as a diagnosis. It is merely for a visual interpretation of the before and after pictures with the use of different BioPro technology products. This DVD has been done with seven subjects, men and women, aged between 40 and 65. Everyone had a 15-minute rest before their first blood test and had not been taking the IH2O or use their pendant, nor their cell phone or computer, with or without a chip within 24 hours. Vitatonic and P2R were not consumed either. These tests were done with integrity and honesty. The results are the true pictures of the experiment. First, let me show you a picture of what ideal blood looks like. The blood is composed of red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and plasma, which is also called the liquid of the blood. You can see that the red blood cells are separated, free-floating, circular and uniform in shape. The red blood cells have a life of 120 days. When there are odd shapes, it means that they are dying prematurely, primarily because the person has been exposed to radiation. They should repel each other. The red blood cells should be one after the other to travel in the veins. They transport oxygen and nutrients. If the red blood cells are clinging together, it means there is a lack of oxygen going to the brain. The background is the plasma and should be clean of debris. We call the blood a river of blood. It is not called the swamp. We should see a non-polluted river. The dancing particles are called protits and are blood regulators, the smallest living particle in the blood. The amount showing here is perfect. A smaller amount means low energy, and too much means there is a multiplication of microorganisms. The blood is always looking for homeostasis, or balance, or equilibrium. With our first subject, we can observe that the red blood cells are very agglomerated. The primary focus is on the red blood cells and their activity. We are now observing stacked red blood cells. This suggests that there is an imbalance in electrostatic activity among the red blood cells, a form of under-oxygenation. After consuming filtered water within 15 minutes, we can see some improvement. Now look at her blood after consuming 24 ounces of IH2O within a period of one hour and a half. You can see that there are dancing particles in the plasma, which are blood regulators. Very good action. We can conclude that when there is enough electrostatic activity, the body is well nourished because the nutrients are transported throughout the body. In our second subject, there is also agglutination of the red blood cells. This person considers himself healthy. 
We can see, however, a uric acid crystal or debris in the background. He also consumed filtered water without it bringing a noticeable change. After drinking 16 ounces of IH2O in a period of 15 minutes, we can observe that his red blood cells are completely detached. As we know, oxygenation affects the biological terrain. Subject number three has tried the pendant. Before her use of the pendant, again we observe the red blood cells that are stacked. We barely see protein particles or regulators in the plasma. After putting on the pendant for 15 minutes, we can see very little change. After using it for one hour and a half and drinking 20 ounces of IH2O, look at how there is electrostatic activity among the red blood cells. I now conclude that drinking the IH2O and using the pendant increases the results. This shows the efficiency of the layered approach. Subject number four is a man of 64 years young. In the first light blood cell examination, we observe a pretty good picture. After 15 minutes of wearing the pendant, we observe that his blood looks even better. His blood is well oxygenated, the plasma of the blood is clean. Observe the greater number of proteins in the background. Subject number five is the lady and again we see the agglutination. After only 15 minutes of using the pendant, look at how well her blood is oxygenated. The red blood cells are nicely shaped and repel each other. Subject number six is a lady whose blood is close to ideal, very lightly agglutinated. We have put her aside with a cellular telephone for 20 minutes. Now examine how her red blood cells are shaped differently and we can see toxic material in the background. I must tell you that this person was now impatient and irritable. She came back using the cellular telephone with the chip on it. Observe the shape of the red blood cells. They are now well shaped. She came back after taking IH2O. Again, it has improved. She now was her own self again, soft and kind. We can conclude that no bacteria can survive in an oxygenated environment. Subject number seven has agglutination of her red blood cells also. We can observe here a stack or group of platelets, an indication of inflammation. Again, after the use of the cell phone not protected, we can observe toxins in the plasma we can see electrostatic activity in the blood and the toxins in the plasma are no longer apparent. Thank you for taking the time to visualize this DVD. I hope it will help convince you of the importance of protecting yourself from electromagnetic fields and radiation. In conclusion, with the routine consisting of a balanced diet, adequate water intake and exercise on a daily basis, along with the use of BioPro technology products to protect us from radiation, one will agree that the toxic materials in and around our body do not stand a chance of survival because our blood is well oxygenated.